speed and safety. Speed is one of the biggest killers on Victorian roads, with around one third of all crashes involving inappropriate speed. By reducing speed, you increase the likelihood of surviving a crash or avoiding injury. Victoria's road safety camera system slows drivers down and, in doing so, saves lives. Speed limits. VicRoads is responsible for setting speed limits, which specify the maximum legal speed on any stretch of road. Visit the VicRoads website for more information about speed limits. Low level speeding. Low level speeding refers to motorists traveling a few kilometers per hour over the legal limit. It is the most common form of speeding and accounts for the majority of speed related trauma. Even speeding at 5 km per hour above the speed limit increases both the likelihood of a crash occurring and the severity of driver and pedestrian injuries in the event of a crash. Hoon driving. Hoon driving is dangerous or antisocial behavior, including driving at very high speeds of 45 km per hour or more above the designated speed limit. Visit the Victoria Police website for more information about Hoon laws. Police enforcement. In areas not covered by cameras, Victoria Police works to enforce road safety laws. Enforcement activity includes that conducted by specially trained traffic police through highway patrols. Road safety cameras are designed to detect specific offenses, speed, red light and unregistered vehicles, giving police more time to prosecute other road incidents such as dangerous driving. Vulnerable road users. Pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists. Towards Zero is Victoria's plan to ensure no one is seriously injured on our roads. It acknowledges that we all face risks on our roads. But our choice to use the road shouldn't cost us our lives. That's why we need to ensure we have a safe transport system in place. Together we can build a system that protects us from our own mistakes and those of others. The Towards Zero road safety principles are also in place across most Australian states and territories. Overseas, many other countries have adopted the same principles, also known as Vision Zero, including, Sweden, Canada, United Kingdom, France, Norway and large cities in the US, such as New York City, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Boston. Here we see the statistics. Lives lost, rolling 12 month. 12 months to midnight the 28th of April 2020. 2018 to 2019 lives lost is. 247 people. 2019 to 2020 lives lost. 249 people. Up 0.8%. Please check the details in the picture. Female. Male. Age group. And location. This statistics only in Victoria. How cameras work. Victoria's road safety camera system consists of both fixed and mobile cameras placed at carefully chosen locations. The types of camera are fixed speed, fixed red light, some fixed road safety cameras enforce red light offenses only, while others detect both red light and speed, point to point, instantaneous, wet film, mobile. Speed cameras. Victoria's road safety camera system includes fixed cameras, permanently positioned at approved locations, and mobile cameras, devices that are rotated across approved mobile camera locations. Fixed road safety cameras. Fixed road safety cameras may detect one or more of the following offenses, speed, red light, unregistered vehicles. The specific devices and technology used to detect speed and record offenses varies depending on the camera system and location. Road safety cameras have the capability to capture images of traffic offenses, differentiate between vehicles on a multi-lane road, calculate the speed of a vehicle, electronically store encrypted images and incident information, use independent secondary speed verification technology to verify incidents, where applicable, use other traffic data, for example variable speed limits, to detect offenses. How mobile cameras work. Mobile road safety cameras transmit a radar, beam to determine the speed, and the direction of a vehicle. The camera can detect speeding vehicles in one or both directions and from either side of the road. In December 2019, the Victorian government deployed the Gatso T-Series mobile road safety cameras, which can enforce over six lanes of traffic in either direction, and can detect multiple vehicles simultaneously. If a vehicle is speeding, it will trigger the camera, and create an image of the speed detection. A target vehicle marker is generated automatically by the camera system to identify the speeding vehicle and appears on the image as a yellow triangle. If there are multiple vehicles in a fine image, the offending vehicle is identified with the yellow triangle.
vehicles that are not speeding will not be marked in the image. Prior to setup and at the end of each mobile camera session, the specially trained operator conducts a full inspection of the site, including speed zone and site boundary confirmation, and test shots are taken to ensure the system is working correctly. The Gatso T-Series mobile camera's operation guidelines specify that while using a mobile camera, the operator can park the vehicle on a footpath, a nature strip or a dividing strip. There are no technical or legal restrictions on placing a mobile road safety camera on a slope, gradient or hill. Top 10 road safety cameras for infringements issued. At the intersection of Warrigal Road and Batesford Road, Chadston, Lane 1, 2, 3. Total infringements issued 7,683. At the intersection of King Street and Latrobe Street, West Melbourne Lane, Lane 1, 2, 3, 4. Total infringements issued 7,403. At the intersection of Fitzroy Street and Lakeside Drive, St Kilda, Lane 1, 2, 3. Total infringements issued 5,934. At the intersection of Flinders Street and William Street, Melbourne, Lane 1, 2, 3. Total infringements issued 4,360. Western Ring Road, approximately 600 metres west of Sydney Road, Glenroy, Lane 1 Total Infringements issued 3,116. Prince's Freeway, Little River, Point Wilson Road Bridge, Melbourne Bound, Lane 1, 2, 3 Total Infringements issued 2,641. At the intersection of Geelong Road and Droop Street, Footscray, Lane 1, 2, 3, 4 Total Infringements issued 2,561. East Link, Roville, Southbound, Wellington Road Bridge, Lane 3 Total Infringements issued 2,549. At the intersection of North Road and Clayton Road, Oakley East, Lane 1, 2, 3 Total Infringements issued 2,422. At the intersection of Terminal Drive and Centre Road, Melbourne Airport, Lane 2, 3, 4, 5 Total Infringements issued 2,400. Most important things are the road safety camera, at the intersection of Warrigal Road and Batesford Road, Chadston recorded the most infringements. The number of infringements, recorded at this camera decreased, by 9.9% from the previous quarter. The top three road safety cameras are in 40 km per hour zones. Research shows a pedestrian struck, by a car travelling at 40 km per hour, has a much higher chance of survival than someone hit at 60 km per hour. Total infringements for speeding and red light offences. July to September 2019. Total infringements. 277,631. Infringements detected by both fixed and mobile cameras. Speeding categories exceed speed by less than 10 km per hour. July to September 2019. Total infringements. 186,508. Exceeds speed by more than 20 km per hour in 110 km per hour zone. Total infringements 242,522. Total infringements for red light offences. July to September 2019. Total infringements 35,109. Thanks for watching my video. Our next videos are traffic fines, parking, speeding cameras, and tickets in Australia. Want to know how your speeding fine is dished out? Please like and subscribe our future videos.